miracle. Hello, Mighty Companion. This is Earl Purdy. This is Earl Purdy, and I'm here to do hardcore Course in Miracles here on Facebook Live. And we're going to talk about how do you allow your problems to disappear? How do you allow your situations that seem like they have power over you that you are trying to get in touch with, that you're trying to heal, if you have a situation that you are wanting to see differently, this is a course in miracles. And I do mean miracles. So do you need a miracle? Then this is the class, the presentation for you. I'm Earl Purdy. I want to welcome my mighty companions. And I always like to use a little music to allow us to get centered and focused in. And it's teach only love, for that is what you are. So here we go. Take a breath while we come in and we focus. Please focus. And this is the only thing that you need to be teaching according to the course. Teach only love. For that is what you are. Only love. Yes, that is what you are, teach only love, that is what you are, teach only love, everywhere you go, teach only love, to everyone you know, teach only love, that is what you are, hey, hey. This is Earl Purdy. I want to welcome you to Hardcore Course in Miracles. And our subject is how do you allow your problems to disappear? How do you allow your anxieties and concerns to disappear? Do you need a miracle? That's what we're going to talk about, what you can do to have one. Teach only love, for that is what you are. Teach only love, for that is what you are. Teach only love, for that is what you are. Teach only love, for what that is what you are. I'm Earl Purdy. Welcome to Hardcore Course in Miracles. We are going, to, for those of you who have the Course in Miracles book, the blue book, the Foundation for Inner Peace version, we are going to be uh, doing lesson in the Course in Miracles workbook, we're going to be getting our information from lesson 193. All lessons are, all things are lessons of God will have me learn, which is the same thing as saying all things are lessons uh, love would have me learn. All things are lessons that the universe would have me learn. All things are lessons that God would have me learn. Truth would have me learn. Everything that we are learning is a lesson. 
So I'm all about the practical application of these principles to our everyday life. We're going to be on page three. If you have the book in the workbook, we're going to be on page 368, 368, 368, lesson 193, all things are lessons God would have me learn. All things are lessons that the creator, my creator, would have me learn. And we're going to start at paragraph 6, page 368, paragraph 6 in the workbook. And there are certain things that you need to say to yourself that the Course in Miracles is teaching you to say to yourself. And the promise is, if you will say these things, then what the situation in your perception that you're dealing with that might be causing you pain and upset would disappear. Okay? So I'm giving you practical application. And we're going to be on page 368. And uh, in the workbook, Lesson 193 of A Course in Miracles. The Course in Miracles has its own guidelines. It has its own rules. If you want to have the miracle, it has its own rules that you need to hear. So here we go. So I want you to take a breath right now. It's really important that you still yourself and allow yourself to feel peace. Now, these are the guidelines. Remember that you need not believe the ideas. You need not accept the ideas. You need not even welcome the ideas. Some of the ideas you may actively resist. Some of the ideas you may actively resist. Some of the ideas in the Course in Miracles you may actively resist. The Course in Miracles says some of the ideas you will find hard to believe. Some of the ideas a Course in Miracles teaches you're going to find hard to believe. Some of the ideas you might actively resist. Some of the ideas may seem to be quite startling. Some of the ideas may seem to be quite startling. Some of the ideas in the Course in Miracles may seem to be quite startling. In my 43 years of teaching and learning A Course in Miracles, I can definitely vouch for that, that The Course in Miracles may say something that startles you. Do you know what you are not being asked to do? The Course in Miracles says you're not being asked to judge and analyze the ideas at all. I'm glad to see you all. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being online. Um, you're not being asked to judge and analyze the ideas at all. So I'm not going to analyze A Course in Miracles. So how do you know that The Course in Miracles is true? How do you know that what I'm about to tell you from A Course in Miracles is true? Well, you will know that what I'm about to tell you from A Course in Miracles is true if you use the ideas that I'm about to give you because the truth of these ideas has nothing to do with whether or not you necessarily believe the ideas or accept the ideas or welcome the ideas, some of the ideas you're going to resist, uh, some of the ideas you are going to find or may find hard to believe. Some of the ideas may startle you, but we're not going to analyze the ideas. Of course, the miracle says that analyzing the course in miracles destroys the meaning of what you're listening to. So the man says, well, how am I going to know that this is true? Well, the course in miracles asks you to do something very radical. And what is it that the course in miracles asks you to do that's very radical? Use it. Use the ideas because a course in miracles is rooted in the idea of lesson two in the Course in Miracles workbook, which is, I give everything I see, all the meaning that it has. You give everything that's going on in your life right now, that situation that you're dealing with, that circumstance that you want to see differently, you are giving that circumstance or that situation, that person, that relationship, you are giving it all the meaning that it has for you. And the meaning that you're giving the situation that you're in or the relationship that you're in, that's what's determining how you feel. So what you're feeling right now 
is not coming from the situation that you think may be upsetting you. What you are feeling right now is coming, and the way you feel right now is coming from the meaning that you're giving to the situation or circumstance or person or relationship that you're dealing with right now. So what does the Course in Miracles do? It gives you new meanings. It gives you new interpretations. It gives you new ways of looking at the situation or circumstance that might be causing you some type of anxiety or fear or upset right now. And do you know what happens the once you get a new perception of that situation or circumstance? Uh, then you have more peace. And the Course in Miracles teaches that when your mind has more peace, it's when you have peace that you can hear your inner guidance. It's when you have peace that you can hear your source, the creator. You can hear the source, your guide, God, if you will, when you have peace of mind. So, you, so the first rule, if you want to be able to deal with the situation or person or circumstance that you're dealing with right now, your first goal, more than any other goal, should be what? Your first goal should be to achieve more peace, to achieve more peace. Your first goal is not try to try to uh, outwardly change that situation and that person or that circumstance that may be upsetting you right now. The first thing you want to go for, the most important thing to go for, is peace of mind. So in this lesson, and I'm starting at paragraph six uh, because I'm working through this lesson, uh, it says that what you should tell yourself, if you're having a tribulation right now, if you're having some type of pain, if there's some area of your life that you're going through suffering, the Course in Miracles says that these are the words that you should tell yourself, whether you believe them or not, which is forgive and you will see this differently. Do you know that to forgive actually means that you're willing to see this situation or this circumstance that you're in right now, that you're willing to look at it differently. So say that to yourself, uh, I, I will see this differently. Forgive and I will see this differently. Forgive and you will see this differently. So how can you tell when you have forgiven? You will see the situation, you will see the person, you will see the circumstance differently. So how does the Course in Miracles help you? The Course in Miracles gives you new interpretations of any situation or any circumstance, gives you the interpretations, the perceptions that you are to use so that you can give yourself more peace. And when you have more peace, then you can hear your own guidance more. So we, we're going to start out with... Uh, and then it says in paragraph six, it says in paragraph six, shall we not use these words? What words? Uh, I will forgive and I will see this differently. Uh, I will, and to forgive means I am willing to see this differently. Forgiveness does, does not mean I'm going to overlook what I, I'm going to try to overlook what I think this person did to me. What forgive means is that you are willing to see that situation, whatever that situation is, you're willing to see that situation differently. You see, you're willing to see that differently. And so it says, shall we not learn to say these words when we are tempted to believe that pain is real? So if you're going through pain in some area of your life right now, you need to say, forgive and I will see this differently. We, when we are tempted to believe that the pain that we're going through, if you're tempted to believe that the pain that you're going through is real and death becomes your choice instead of life, shall we not say these words? What words? Forgive and I will see this differently. Forgive and I will see this differently. Say, forgive. So tell yourself right now. I'm willing to see this differently. 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 So that's the first stage. So what should you be saying about that situation or circumstance? You should be saying, I'm willing to see this differently. I will see this differently. So let's say there's a person that you're upset with right now. What you want to do is tell yourself, 
I will see them differently. I'm willing to see them differently. Guess what? It says, shall we not learn to say these words when we have understood their power to release all minds from bondage? Forgive, and I will see this differently. These are the words. These are the words. What words? Forgive, and I will see this differently. These are the words. What will these words do according to A Course in Miracles? When you say forgive, and I will see this differently, these words will give you power over all events that seem to have been given power over you. So if you're in a situation that it looks like or an event that you're dealing with in your life right now that looks like it has been given power over you instead of you having power over that event, forgive. Say forgive and I will see this differently. So what is going to happen in that situation that's causing you anxiety and upset? He says, well, you're going to see that situation. You're going to see that person. You're going to see that person rightly when you hold these words in full awareness. Now, notice that it says you're going to have the change, the peace that you want to have. But when are you going to have more peace? It's what it says when you uh, hold these words. I will see this differently. I'm willing to see this differently. I'm, I'm willing to see them differently. I'm willing to see them differently. Say that right now. I'm willing to see them differently. I'm willing to see this situation differently. You're willing to see this situation differently. You are willing to see this situation differently. It doesn't matter how you are feeling right now. It doesn't matter if you feel depressed or sad or happy or excited in this moment the course of miracles says you want to use you want to use the words that it's giving you regardless of your reaction to it so it's not so important that you necessarily feel thrilled to hear what i'm saying it's not necessary that you even feel thrilled to say the words that a course in miracles is telling you to say what you want to do is you want to hold these words in your awareness now what what are the words it says it right here Forgive, and you will see this differently. Now, what is it that you must not forget? What is it that you must not forget? Well, of course, the miracle says you must not forget these words apply to everything you see and to any brother that you look upon or who looks amiss. A brother is an equal. A brother has nothing to do with uh, a man or a woman. A brother according to the Course in Miracles, just means you're equal. So what is it that you don't want to forget? You don't want to forget that these words apply to anybody that you're looking at, any situation that you're dealing with. These words apply to any other person that's, uh, that's also seeing things fearfully, seeing things in such a way that's causing them fear. So what is the main point out of this paragraph, paragraph six? It's for you to recognize and start saying, I'm gonna say these words whether I believe these words, I'm gonna say these words no matter how I feel about it, I'm gonna say these words uh, regardless of uh, what emotional state that I'm in, whatever the emotional state you're in right now. Say these words, forgive, and I will see this differently. Say this right now. Now, how can you tell? How can you tell when you're seeing wrong? How can you tell? How can you tell when you are seeing a situation incorrectly? How can you tell when someone else is failing to see the lesson? How can you tell when someone else is seeing incorrectly? How can you tell when someone else is seeing wrong? I'm the divine repetition teacher. I repeat things because the Course in Miracles says you should repeat things over and over again. That's, that, that's the way that you change your mind is through repetition. You don't change your mind necessarily through trying to understand. You, you change your mind through practical application and repetition. So I use a lot of repetition. I, use a lot, I've been, I have been teaching and a full-time teacher of A Course in Miracles and a student of The Course in Miracles for 
over 40 years and work, and I have worked with many, many people and we make it harder than it has to be. All you have to do is learn how to keep these words that I'm telling you from A Course in Miracles, keep these words in full awareness. Stay fully aware of these words and repeat them regardless of the way you feel. That's how you begin to change your perception. It's through repetition, 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 repetition. So, and not, and don't forget that these words apply to everything you see. And don't forget what? That these words apply to everybody else that you know in the way that they see. So how do you, how can you tell when you're seeing wrong? How can you tell when somebody else is failing to see the lesson that they should learn? Does pain seem real? In the perception, are you perceiving in a way that you are experiencing pain, weary, anxiety, anger, depression, guilt, or fear? Does pain seem real to you right now in a situation, this situation that you're in right now? Does pain seem real in the situation that you seem to be in right now? Then if you're still seeing pain, if you're still perceiving fear, if you're still perceiving separation, if you're still perceiving guilt, if you're still perceiving sickness, if you're still perceiving lack, if that seems like it's real for you right now in the situation that you're in right now, what is it that you need to be sure of? If there's pain in your perception, you haven't learned your spiritual lesson yet. If pain and suffering and upset is in your perception right now, in this situation that you're dealing with, then you have not learned what the lesson is that God is trying to teach you in this situation that you're in. If there's pain in your perception, if there is anger and anxiety in this situation, if it's in your perception, then the Course in Miracles says you can be sure. What is it that you can be sure of? He says, well, you can be sure that you haven't learned the lesson that love would have you learn, the lesson that the Creator would have you learn. Now, there's a part of you that might want to get upset about that, but of Course in Miracles says, well, regardless of how you feel about it, that's still true. Because do you know that at the point you truly learn your spiritual truth lesson, there's one way you can always tell when you're going in the direction of a correct perception. The way you can tell when you're going in the direction of a right perception is you will start to experience some form of peace, some form of fulfillment, some form of joy, some form of relaxation and happiness. So how can you tell if you haven't learned in the situation that you're dealing with? It says, if pain seems real, then you can be sure that you haven't learned your spiritual lesson yet. And what is it that's keeping you in that painful perception? Well, the Course in Miracles says, well, what's keeping you in the painful perception that you might be going through right now? You know the situation that I'm talking about. You know the person that I'm talking about. Just hang in there. If it ever freezes and there's a problem, don't go anywhere. It's going to reconnect, okay? So I'll say it again. I'm, I'm all about the practical application of A Course in Miracles, okay? And so I, when I go through The Course in Miracles with you, I want you to use what I'm telling you from A Course in Miracles. I want you to apply it to a situation that you know that you're giving yourself a lack of peace about right now, something that's concerning you, wearing you upset um, something or somebody you know you want to see differently so the course in miracles just told us and it's hard for sometimes boy i tell you the ego is so busy right now in terms of what i'm trying to do okay Here we go I must be really be doing it right tonight because it's, it's so funny to see the technical difficulties that are trying to come through while I'm doing this with you right now.
But just hang in there. Hang in. Okay, let's see. All right, just hang in there, mighty companions. It, it, it's, it, for some reason, we've been, the ego is trying to, it's what its course we call it, the ego is really busy right now trying to make sure that you don't hear what I'm saying. So I'm going to say it again. Um, what I'm going to say to you is, Okay, I'm going to keep on. I'm going to keep hanging in there. I'm going to keep on doing it. So, okay, here we go again. How can you tell? How can you tell when you're seeing incorrectly? The Course in Miracles says, well, the way you can tell when you're seeing incorrectly is that you'll still be experiencing some kind of pain in the situation or in the circumstance. Okay. That's how you can tell. How you can tell that if you're in a situation right now and you are going through pain and there's pain in the perception, if there's pain and upset in your perception right now in the situation that you're in, you can be sure that you haven't learned the spiritual lesson that you're supposed to be learning from that situation. If there is some type of pain that you're going through in a situation, can everybody hear me? Can you hear me now? Those who are still online, if you can hear me now, would you please give me some heart emojis or just let me know? I want to make sure that you're hearing me because this is so powerful that it looks like everything has been trying to interfere with what I'm saying right now. Okay, great, great. Thank, thank you for hanging in there. It's so funny. It's like everything is working fine. Everything was working fine. So I know from doing the Courts and Miracles this long, I know it means that I'm saying something that there's a part of our collective consciousness that doesn't want to hear. So just hang in there. Here you go. Here we go. So in this situation that you're dealing with right now, that you have any kind of unhappiness, then I want you to know that all that means is that you have some type of unforgiveness and that unforgiveness is hiding in your mind. So the problem that you're having, really, that would be keeping you experiencing some type of pain and suffering in a situation that you might be going through right now is that there's some form of unforgiveness. Now, the Course in Miracles definition of unforgiveness is a misperception that you are seeing something incorrectly. And unforgiveness is a misperception. And unforgiveness is a grievance. It's a misperception. So you may not believe it, but the problem that you're going through or the situation that's causing you some type of challenge, that situation is coming from a misperception. It's coming from the way that this you might be seeing things. So I want you to realize that we are talking about a misperception. Okay, there's an unforgiveness. I know... This is a reminder. Pain is giving. If you don't forget. This, just let me know you're done. Otherwise. <laughs> yeah, it's a trip to see how many things are trying to interfere with what I'm trying to say right now. So it must really be good. This must really be good. Anyway, here we go. Here we go. Now, you might not want to hear this from A Course in Miracles, and obviously some part of us is resisting this. But I want you to understand that what's going on right now, if there's any kind of pain that you're going through in any situation, the Course is saying there is some type of a grievance that's going on right now. And one of the things that you need to do in order to get rid of the grievance is to tell yourself, I am determined to see this differently. I am determined to see that I'm determined to see all the technical difficulties that are popping out from everywhere differently. So if you're going through pain, what is it that the that the Course in Miracles says that your creator wants you to know? Well, it says God would not have you suffer. God would not have you suffer this way. So your creator is trying to help you forgive yourself. That means correctly perceive yourself. That means that the Creator is trying to help us see things differently. Don't forget that the Course in Miracles interpretation and definition of forgiveness is your willingness to have a correct percept, a corrected perception, your willingness to see the situation differently. 
Now, if you are a person who wants to forgive a situation or a person or a circumstance, then the Course in Miracles can really help you do that. If you are a person who does not want to forgive, that wants to hang on to the grievance or the upset or the pain, then nothing's really going to change until you want to see the person or the situation or the circumstance differently. I'm not here to convince anybody to want to forgive. I'm not here to try to get you to want to forgive that situation or want to uh, uh, overlook. I'm here for primarily to share what the Course is saying that you need to do if you really want to see it differently, if you really want to let it go. Because love, one thing about love, which is God, uh, love does not want you to suffer. Love, which is God, would help you forgive yourself. So the, did you know the Course says the problem is you are an unlimited spiritual being and a child of the infinite, but you don't remember who you are. You don't remember who you are. Do you know that you don't remember that you're truly spirit? Maybe you don't remember that you are more than a body. You are more than a man or a woman. You are more than a gender identification. You are more than a body. You are spirit. You are love. And do you know the Course says that we don't remember that, that our real problem is that we don't remember who we are. So your Creator would not have you forget your Creator's love. So we have a loving Creator. And the Course says, don't you know that your loving Creator doesn't want you to forget that you are loved? that you have forgotten that you are love and that you deserve love and that you are only love and that that's true of everybody else no matter what it looks like they're doing. So if you want to see it differently, then the Course in Miracles says that, well, your source doesn't want you to forget it's love and all the gifts that is love brings with it. So would you now renounce your peace? Would you renounce your healing? As the Course would put it, would you renounce your salvation? Uh, the Course in Miracles defines salvation as right-mindedness, that if you have a correct perception, if you have a correct perception, it will save you. So in the situation that you're dealing with right now, in this circumstance that might be causing you some form of pain right now, it's important for you not to renounce your salvation, which is to say you should not renounce your healing. You are not in the situation that there's not another way to look at it that can bring you peace. You are not in a situation that you could not experience a miracle in. You are not going through something, whatever that is, whatever that situation or circumstance that might be causing you some lack of peace. I'll say it again. That situation is not a situation that's beyond healing if you're willing to do what A Course in Miracles is asking you to do, which is basically asking you, would you fail to learn the simple lessons that Heaven's Teacher sets before you? You have a guide, you have an internal teacher, you have a spiritual guide, you have an internal teacher, you have a part of the Creator that is inside you, that is with you, to guide you. The reason why you don't hear the voice of the Creator is because you're listening to your own voice. The Course in Miracles says you're always listening to the thoughts you are telling yourself or you're listening to what the world has taught you. And if you're listening to what the world has taught you, which is not true, a Course in Miracles says, well, the way you can know it's not true because you're going through pain. You're going through suffering. You're not, ha you're not happy. So if you are not happy, it means that you have an unforgiveness. It means you have a way of looking at things that is incorrect. Because remember, the Course in Miracles is working with your perception. It's working with the way you're looking at this situation or circumstance that you're dealing with. It's giving you another way to look at it. And so the Course in Miracles says you are failing to learn the simple lessons that your teacher is setting before you uh, and the te your teacher, your higher self, your higher self spirit is trying to teach you another way to look at this situation that you're going through so that your fear and pain may disappear. And when your fear and pain disappears, do you know what happens when your fear and pain disappears? When your fear and pain disappears, then your Creator is remembered. Love is remembered. Your peace is remembered. Your freedom is remembered. How do you remember your freedom? How do you remember your abundance? How do you remember your health? How do you remember your healing? How do you remember your happiness? When your pain disappears. It's hard to believe that we have a loving Creator and we're in a loving universe if we're, if we're dealing with a lot of pain and suffering. So, so the Course in Miracles says, well, I'm going to teach you some simple lessons that will get you 
into a into a more peaceful state of mind. And then when you get into this more peaceful state of mind, you will be able to hear your intuition and your inner guidance. And how can you tell when you're not listening to the truth? How can you tell when you're not listening to God? How can you tell when you're wrong? But of course, the miracle says it's simple. You are unhappy. You're in pain. You're angry. You're suffering. You're depressed. So if you are in any of those states of mind, you are wrong. You are wrong-minded. You are not seeing the truth. It doesn't mean you're bad. It doesn't mean that you're going to be punished. It's, that doesn't mean that anything is judging you. It just means you are wrong. You know what I'm saying? If I try to open my car with somebody else's key, then I'll never be able to open. I'll never be able to open my car. But that's not judging me as being a bad person. It just means. I am still doing the wrong thing. I'm using the wrong key. So the Course in Miracles is saying, don't be judging yourself and getting upset about what it's telling you. It's just trying to tell you why you are in pain in that situation or why you are in pain in that relationship because you have an unforgiveness. And then it turns around and says, well, an unforgiveness is you hanging on to a way of looking at the situation that you've learned from the past that you're not ready to let go of yet. So all things are lessons. So everything that you're going through in your life right now is a lesson. This situation, that this circumstance, this relationship is a lesson. It's a lesson that God would have you learn. It's a lesson that the truth would have you learn. So that's the first thing you want to realize. What is the first thing you want to realize? Is that what you're going through right now, if you have any kind of pain, any kind of suffering in any way, you are experiencing a lesson that God would have you learn. That love is God. So you can interchange those terms. God is truth. God is love. So what is it that God would not leave in your mind? What is it that the truth is trying to get rid of in your mind? He says, well, God would not leave an unforgiving thought without correction. That your creator would not leave one thorn or nail to hurt you in any way. So God is love. So the Course in Miracles is telling us the characteristics of real love. Everything that you're learning is a lesson in real love. Real love wouldn't leave an unforgiving, painful thought without correction. Real love would not leave a thorn or nail to hurt you in any way. No one who loves you wants to hurt you. No one who loves you wants to hurt you. No one who loves you will hurt you. No one who loves you would consciously, purposely hurt you. No one who loves you would attack you. No one who loves you would attack you. No one who loves you would keep putting a guilt trip on you. No one who really loves you would keep a guilt trip on, keep getting it putting a guilt trip on you. Real love would not do anything that would hurt you in any way. And our creator is love. So what is it that the Course says love? What else would love do? What else would the creator do? It says, well, the creator would ensure that your rest remain untroubled and serene without a care in an eternal home which cares for you. So the Course in Miracles says you need to understand that that which created you, that which created you wants to ensure that you will rest and that you will be untroubled and that you will be serene and that you will be without cares and worries. So that's the other characteristic of love. That's the other characteristic of your Creator is that your Creator wants you to be untroubled. Love wants you to be untroubled and serene. That is what you deserve. That is the only thing that you deserve. You do not deserve to suffer. You do not deserve to suffer. And there's another way to look at whatever this situation or circumstance that you're in right now that might be causing you pain. So the Course in Miracles says, well, do you know that your Creator would have all your tears be wiped away with no tears remaining to be uh, shed and no tears that would be awaited, awaiting their appointed time to fall. So then, does that mean the Course in Miracles is telling us again what our Creator, what love wants for us? So what is it that God has willed according to the Creator? According to the Course, what is it that your Creator in the universe wants for you? What is it that the Creator in the universe, what does love want for you? Well, the love wants for you that laughter should replace your tears. So what does love want for you? What does your creator want for you? What does God want for you? That every one of your tears should be replaced by laughter. 
so that you can be free again. So anybody that loves you wants all your tears to be replaced with laughter. Anyone who really loves you wants you to be free. There's no such thing as saying you love someone and you want to limit and restrict their expression of who they really are and who they really are. So love wants, God wants your laughter to replace any tears or upsets that you might be going through in this situation or circumstance that you're in right now. So you need to tell yourself, I will forgive and this situation, this problem, this pain will disappear. But what does it mean when you say, I will forgive? Well, the Course in Miracles told us it means that you are willing to see this situation differently. That is what forgiveness means from a Course in Miracles perspective. You are ready to have a corrected perception of this person, of this situation, of this circumstance. Why? So that you can be free. So that you can be free again. If you're upset with somebody right now and you're mad with them right now and you have an unforgiveness toward them right now, do you know that you are the only one that's feeling it? That person that you're upset with, that grievance that you have, that other person isn't feeling it at all. They might be partying like a, partying like a big dog right now. Happy as they can be, skipping down the street, having a good time. They're not even aware, aware that you are, are hurting and attacking yourself with your unforgiveness toward them. So forgiveness, being willing to see that situation differently, you're doing that for you. You're not doing that necessarily for the other person. You're doing that for you. They might, they don't, they not, they not even care what you're feeling right now. They may not even be aware that you're holding the grievance that you're keeping yourself miserable about. So all pain is some form of unforgiveness, some misperception, some old way of looking at things that you are not willing to let go of yet. So what is it that the court says in the next paragraph? It says, we will attempt. What is it that we're going to attempt? He says, we will attempt to overcome a thousand seeming obstacles to peace in just one day. So what are we doing right now? We're going to attempt to overcome a thousand obstacles right now. What is it that you are being asked to do in that situation or circumstance that you know you need to change your mind about? That person you know you need to change your mind about? But of course, the miracle says right here, let mercy come. Who is it that you need to let mercy come to? Let mercy come to you. Let mercy come to you more quickly. When you allow yourself to see this situation or circumstance that you're making yourself unhappy about, when you're willing to see that differently, you are having mercy on you. It's time for you to have mercy on you. Guess what? You don't need to hold that mercy off another day, another minute, another instant. Do you know that you're in time? Do you know what time is for? Time is to allow you to replace. It's, it's, it's here to, for you to use to teach yourself and allow yourself to be taught how to have your tears replaced with laughter, how to overcome any obstacles to your peace. It's time for you to be merciful to you. Have mercy on yourself. Stop crucifying yourself with your grievances and your anger and your projection and your blame because it's not hurting anyone but you. And it's not really hurting who you really are, but you don't know that yet. So what is it that you are supposed to do according to the courts? Well, it says uh, use time today for what time's purpose is. Uh, morning and night, morning and night. What is it you need to do in the morning? What is it that you need to do at night? It says devote what time you can to serve time's proper aim. So as much as you can, devote some time into learning the lessons that God would have you learn and learning the lessons that the truth would have you learn. You, you must devote some time to your new perception. I'm sorry, you're not going to have the peace that you want to have and the happiness that you want to have unless you give some spiritual correct curriculum your attention and your study and then you apply it. This is for A Course in Miracles students, right? These are, this is primarily aimed at people who are using the Course in Miracles as their curriculum. So it's telling you right now, 
okay, you can overcome uh, a thousand seeming obstacles to your peace today. You can let uh, mercy come to you more quickly. Stop holding off your happiness and your peace another day, another minute, or another instant. Time was made for you to use time in order to correct your perception so that you can have peace. In the morning or at night, you need to devote as much time as you can to seeing things differently. And do not let the time be less than meets your deepest needs. Focus in on as much, give as much time as you need to give to a new way of looking at things so that you can have peace. A Course in Miracles is full of new ways to look at anything you are going through so that you can experience more peace. And when you experience more peace, then you can see more clearly how to handle the situation you're in and you can hear your guidance from spirit, your guidance from God. So you need to give all the time you can to your happiness, to your peace, to your spiritual study, and then give a little more time because it's time for us to uh, arise. It's time for you to arise in haste. It's time for you to go to your creator's house. It's time for you to go to love, in other words. It's time for you to go to peace, to joy, to freedom, to that which created you. It's time for you to get rid of it and allow that pain and suffering in your perception about this situation or circumstance. It's time for you to allow that pain and that suffering to be released. Uh, the Course in Miracles says we have gone too, we've been gone too long. So it's, it's time for you to get out of this fear, to get out of this pain, to get out of this separation in this situation. We would linger here and no more. And as we practice, which is what we're doing right now, what do you do? He says, well, let us think about all the things that we've tried to settle by ourselves. Because do you know every problem that you've tried to solve by yourself without God, every problem that you've tried, you've tried to solve without love, every problem you've tried to solve without your creator, that is the problem that you've been keeping apart from being solved. How, do you t how can you tell what areas of your life that is you trying to solve things on your own? It's the areas of your life that you still have the problem, the unhappiness, or the grievance. That's the area of your life that you're trying to handle on your own, and therefore you have kept that area apart from healing. So everything that you've been trying to handle without the truth, what do you do with everything that you've been trying to handle on your own? The Course in Miracles says, let us give them all to spirit who knows the way to look upon what you're going through that's causing your pain so that it will disappear. What do you do? The Course in Miracles is teaching you how to give all your problems and concerns and worries to the higher power who knows the way to look at it so that it will disappear. So what is the message of God? What is the message of love? The message of love is truth. Truth is God's message. Truth is love's message. Truth is love's teaching. Truth is God's teaching. The teachings of love, the teachings of God are lessons that God would have us learn. So everything that you're learning is a lesson in love. Everything that you're learning is a lesson in truth. This situation that you're dealing with right now, this circumstance that you're dealing with right now, the grievance, this person, you know what I'm talking about. That situation that you're dealing with right now is a lesson that God would have you learn. So what do you do to get rid of the pain? What do you do? Well, the Course in Miracles says, well, each hour, spend, each hour, spend a little time today Spend a little time in all the days to come in practicing this lesson in forgiveness. You have to practice seeing things another way because don't forget, forgiveness is being willing to look at things differently, to look at things correctly. And how did the Course in Miracles say you could tell when you're looking at things incorrectly? There's pain and suffering in your perception. You feel like you're going through some type of fear, anger, concern, pain, and suffering. And I'm telling you, if you are, it means you have not learned the lesson that spirit is trying to teach you, that love is trying to teach you, that God is trying to teach you. So, so every day you are learning the lesson of forgiveness in the form that's been established for the day. So anything that happens to a person during the day is the form their correct perception lessons are coming to them this day. So what do you do? Will you try to apply this to the things that 
uh, happening in this hour so that the next hour can be free. So I've got to practice the truth in this hour to remember that if I forgive, if I'm willing to see this differently, the pain and suffering will disappear in my mind and in my perception. I need to apply that to everything, that, and you need to apply that to everything that happens this hour so that the next hour will be free. Okay? Uh, that's how you loosen the chains of time and limitation. How do you loosen the limitation? Well, it says, let no one hour cast its shadow on the one that follows. What happened to cause you pain and fear in the, in the last hour? You, you are learning through a course in miracles, through a willingness to see things differently. And, and the new way that you want to see things is the way that the course in miracles is teaching you to see things. And in this lesson, it's saying, tell yourself everything that I'm going through is a lesson God would have me learn. I will forgive, which means I'm willing to see this differently. That's what you want to say. I'm willing to see. I'm mad at you right now. I'm willing to see you differently. If I'm willing to see you differently, that's a form of forgiveness. You're in this situation that you're in right now. Say, I'm in this situation. I'm willing to see this situation differently. Let everything that happened in the last hour, let that go in the, in, in, and let that go by focusing on the truth in this hour. And people often ask me, well, Earl, how do you do this? And I'm like, going, that's all I've been telling you for the last hour is how to do it. That's all the Course in Miracles is doing all the time. That's why I'm always kind of tripped out when people go, well, okay, well, tell me how, what to do. I'm like, that's all I'm doing is telling you what to do according to the Course in Miracles. That's right here in front of us. It's telling us what to do. It's already told us you don't have to believe it, accept it, or welcome it. And no matter what your reaction is to it, I want you to say this. And so this is the lesson. He says, this is how you remain unbound in peace eternal in the world of time. If you really want to have constant peace in this world, do you know that this is what the Course in Miracles is saying that you should say to yourself? This is the lesson your Creator would have you learn, right? This is the, what is the lesson that God would have you learn? First of all, First of all, the first thing you need to think about in that situation that you're dealing with right now, in with that relationship that you're dealing with right now that might be painful for you, what you want to say to yourself and remember is there's another way. Of, uh, there's, it says there is a way to look on everything that lets it be to you another step to love, which is another step to God. So there's a way to look at this situation and circumstance that you're in right now. There's a way to look at that situation in a way that's another step to your happiness. That's another step to love. That's another step to God. It's another step to the salvation, which is the peace, which is, don't you think we need peace in this world? This is another step toward peace, which the Course calls salvation of the world. So what should you say to everything that terrifies you? What should you say to everything that speaks of terror? What should you say in the situation that you're in that you might be experiencing some fear and anxiety in if there's a situation like that for you? Or if one of those situations come up, what do you say? You say, I will forgive and this will disappear. I will forgive and this will disappear. I will forgive and this will disappear. I will forgive and this will dif disappear. Now, did I say that the Course in Miracles says to forgive means to see things differently? Did I say that the Course in Miracles says to forgive means to have a correct perception? To forgive doesn't mean, to forgive does not mean, to forgive does not mean you're trying to overlook what somebody did to you. The Course in Miracles definition of forgiveness has nothing to do with trying to overlook what you think. It's not telling you to try to overlook what you think somebody did to hurt you or wrong you. This is not forgiveness according to the Course in Miracles. In the Course in Miracles, it means that you are willing to see this situation, see this person, see this, this situation and circumstance in a way that will give you more peace. That's forgiving it. Forgiving it is you have a willingness to see this person, this situation, this circumstance in a way that gives you peace or more peace so that you can in, in turn allow the power of God and spirit, your inner guide to communicate with you. So tell yourself, I will forgive, which is the same as saying, I will correctly perceive and this situation that's causing me pain will disappear in my perception. So when should you say, I will forgive and this will disappear? You should say, I will forgive and this will disappear 
You should say that to every apprehension, every care, and every form of suffering. Any kind of suffering that you're going through on any level about anything right now, and you know you can say this. You are not being told to say something that you cannot do. You can do this because you're being asked to say this whether you believe it or not. You're being asked to say this no matter what mood you're in right now. You're being asked to say this even if you believe it's the greatest bunch of crock you ever heard in your life. You can still say this. Say what? I will forgive and this will disappear. Repeat these self-same words. And then you hold the key to love's gate, which is heaven's gate. This is, this, these are the words that will bring the love of God down to this earth, in this earth at last, and raise us up to heaven, which is to raise us up to love. Your creator, do you know that your creator, love, will take the final step itself if you were to say to every apprehension, every care, every form of suffering that comes up for you today, this hour, the next hour, and you say, I will correctly perceive, I will see this differently, and this will disappear. You will forgive, you will see this differently, and it will disappear. To forgive is that you're willing to see it another way. So the Course in Miracles is teaching you how to do that. That's what the workbook lessons do. They give the principles of the Course in Miracles practical application. That's how you get the miracle, which is the correct perception. It takes some attention. I admit, it takes some study. It takes a willingness for you to learn the new way of looking at it. Because what you have been receiving is another way to look at the situation that you're in. Me telling you and going over this lesson 193, all things are lessons God would have me learn. That's another perception. Everything that I've been saying is another perception. So I'm going to take a couple of minutes. I'm going to do a, a quick recap and something that I want us to do together. And then we will, it will kind of help bring this whole lesson home for us. My name is Earl Purdy. I'm a full-time teacher of A Course in Miracles. I do it on a donation basis. I do it on a donation basis. If you like to make a financial expression of appreciation, then you can go to my website, www.earlperdy.com. That's P-U-R-D-Y, P-U-R-D-Y. You can also use Venmo, the Cash App, PayPal, or Zelle. All you need is my email address, and that's earlperdy at earlperdy.com. Earlperdy at earlperdy.com. Thank you in advance for what you share with me. I'm available for clarity sessions. I'm available for one-on-one -on -one sessions called clarity sessions. You go to my website, earlperdy.com. It will, it will give you all the details about my one-on-one -on -one sessions and you can self-book a session right from my website. For those who are open and receptive to receiving intuitive psychic guidance also, I'm a, an astrologer and a numerologist, and you're also able to have a session uh, in that form if that's what works for you. Ah, I love this. I love this. Sundays at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. Sundays at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. I do another Facebook Live on the Earl Purdy page on Facebook, the Earl Purdy page. Uh, and so that's Sundays at 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. If you're in Denver, Colorado, in, and in the Denver, Colorado area, you can attend my Sunday sessions in person as well as watch them online. If you want to join me in person, I'm at 1555 Race, R-A-C-E, Race Street, 1555 Race Street, Race Street, here in Denver, Colorado, 80206, 80206 is the zip. Online only on Thursdays, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. It's Hardcore Course in Miracles, which is what you're listening or watching right now on the Earl Purdy page. I upload all of my videos to YouTube also, and so I have hundreds, literally hundreds of classes on YouTube that you can watch. I'm just here to be helpful. I'm just here to be helpful. All right, so let's, let's do, I think I covered everything. Okay, so here we go. All things are lessons that God would have you learn. So I want you to think of a situation 
and you know what I'm talking about. I want you to think of a situation that's causing you pain or upset or weary in some way. Think about that situation, right? So no matter how you're feeling, I want you to absolutely say this to yourself. Do you have the situation? You have the person? You have the circumstance? Thank you. I, I so appreciate you coming and watching live and hanging in there through all the crazy technical difficulties because there's something powerful about us all being here to get together. And I, and I look at every comment and I bless you, bless you for tuning in. And watch this or listen to it at least four times. Did you hear what I said about The Course in Miracles says that it's through repetition that you accept the new truth. It's through repetition, 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 right? So this situation that you're going through right now, be it in, and you know what the situation is, you know what that situation is. And that person, that person that when you think about them, you experience some form of pain or weary or suffering, the Course in Miracles says that the way you can tell when you're not seeing something correctly is that you, there will be pain and suffering in your perception. And, if you, and how can you tell if someone else isn't seeing things from the truth perspective or from the correct perspective? How can you tell? Because they will see pain in their perception and fear and suffering. So I had to go, well, Purdy, that means that you're seeing, you're seeing a lot of things incorrectly then. And if, if I'm not seeing things correctly is when I'm having pain and suffering in my perception at any level, then that means I'm not seeing this situation or this person or this relationship correctly, which is good news. That's good news because then that means there is a, another way that you can look at it. That means there is an answer. So that situation, that circumstance, tell yourself, I will forgive. I will forgive and this will disappear. 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 Say that with me silently or aloud. I will forgive and this will disappear. 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 Tell yourself, I will forgive and this will disappear. 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 You will forgive and this will disappear. You will forgive and this will disappear. You will forgive and this will disappear. And what is forgiveness? Your willingness to see it another way. So tell yourself, I am determined to see this differently. Tell yourself, I am determined to see this differently. 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 And then if it's a person, if it's a person you know that you're giving yourself pain about, a relationship that you know you're giving yourself pain about, say, I will forgive and see them differently. I will forgive and this problem will disappear. That means I will be willing to see things differently and this will disappear. That's what I will forgive means. I will see this differently and this will disappear. I will see you differently and this separation between us will disappear. I'm willing to see them differently and then this problem will disappear. This lesson is 193 in A Course in Miracles workbook. Lesson 193, all things, everything, all things are lessons that God would have me learn, that love would have me learn. Mighty companions, I love you, I appreciate you, I'm here just to be truly helpful. Please share my videos. There are other people that need to hear this, so please share it because all of them are on YouTube as well, so they don't have to necessarily be on Facebook. I appreciate you, and may the, I love you so much, thank you. May the course be with you. Mwah.